now we've seen the definition of a heap, and uh, just like for any other abstract data type, we need to define the operations that could be performed on the elements in, in such a structure. And the operations, uh, the most common operations for a heap, are add, the addition of an element, and removing an element, also called offer and pull. Of course, removing an element will remove the element with the highest priority, and adding an element would add it in its proper position. So let's look at their implementation. Uh, the addition, here's how we're going to be doing it. We're going to add the element to the very last level. Because our tree is a complete tree, a heap we said is a complete tree, and all of its levels are full except for the very last level. So we're going to add our element to the very last level if it has some empty space. Or if it doesn't have any empty space, we're going to create a new level, and we're going to push the element to the very left. So we have to actually put it, push it to the very left in order to satisfy one of the conditions of of the heap. And then what we're going to do, now what we've added the element, we have to sort of or position it in its right uh, uh, location in the tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to recursively swap with the parent. So we're going to look at that element that we've just added and we're going to recursively swap with the parent if it happens to be less than its parent. Because remember, we're trying to preserve the property of a heap whereby every node is smaller than its children. So let's look at an example. Suppose we had this this uh, complete tree, which is a heap, and um, we uh, wanted to add three. So the first thing we do is that we put it on the last level and we push it flush to the towards the left, and then we're going to recursively swap it with its parent if if it's less than its parent. So since three is less than five, we swap it with five, and then since three is actually less uh, is larger than one, so it, now it's in its correct position. We could stop right here. Um, removing an element, i.e. dequeuing if you want, would amount to actually taking, just removing the root, because we want the element with the highest priority, and we said that the root would be uh, the smallest element, and by small we mean it will have the highest priority. So remember they're ordered by priority, and whichever element happens to be at the root happens to have the smallest, if you will, uh, um, value, but it's not actually the value that we're looking at, we're looking at the priority, we're sorting them by priority, and uh, which is our criteria. And then what we're going to do, so we're going to take out, we're going we're to be taking it out that root, returning it, so we've dequeued the element, but then we're going to have to reorder our tree, now we have a hole here. So how are we going to do that? We're going to be um, taking the minimum element, or not actually the minimum element, but the element at the very end of the tree, just to make it simple for ourselves without disturbing any uh, uh, of the ordering of the tree, we're just going to go to the very end of the tree and take that last element and remove it, and then just put it at the top, copy it to the top right here. So we've removed our three, we've returned it, dequeued it, and then we've taken this element right here, which can easily be removed without disturbing the structure of the tree, and we've just put it to the top. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to recursively swap with the children, with the minimum child, if it happens to be larger. So since 5, because we want to preserve that property, remember, of the heap, whereby the parent is always less than the children, so 5 is, the priority 5 is larger than 4, or uh, uh, is larger than 4, but less than 7. So in this case it's fine, but it's not fine to have this child here. So we're going to swap it with the 4. The 4 will come here, 5 comes here. And then do it again now. 5 with 10, but since 10 happens to be larger than 5, so we're alright, and then we're done. So this is how we're doing it. And then we could implement it in an array, uh, using an array. So if we want to implement a heap, we can, also, we can actually use an array as our uh, base data structure. And uh, we're going to see how to do that in the next video.